showers and storms. So our local forecast really goes unchanged. The thing that's going to be something we'll be watching is in the tropics. We got three areas we're monitoring now. Invest 94, tropical storm barrel, and a tropical uh, wave right behind it that does have a good shot at developing. This is what tropical storm barrel is doing right now. It's producing wind gusts at 65 miles per hour. Healthy looking storm. It's continuing to move west at 21 miles per hour, so it is moving along pretty quickly. It's expected to strengthen to a hurricane, maybe a category two hurricane when it moves into the lesser Antilles by late Sunday or early Monday and it will continue to move west northwest through the Caribbean Sea through later in the week, eventually weakening as it encounters some wind shear by later in the week once it reaches Cuba. So this is a long term area we'll be watching. So far, it looks like the biggest impacts will be for the Lesser Antilles later this weekend throughout the early part of the week. They'll be seeing strong winds, flooding and surge, and this will continue to move through the Caribbean Sea into the second half of the work week, bringing some rain to Hispaniola and to Cuba. But so far, it looks like the steering currents should keep it more on that westerly track to the Yucatan. That can change. We'll be watching it closely. But here locally, we have no tropical threats or anything really to worry about in the tropics over the next week. So make sure you're checking back in day to day for the latest forecasts on barrel. But so far, this is your seven day. No tropical worries, but we do keep the heat. That's our biggest thing. The heat is the top concern for us. Every day temperatures soaring into the mid 90s, maybe the upper 90s later in the week. But at least we'll keep the chance for a few cooling showers around every day.